guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. We're still saying it. I feel like it's time to stop saying that now, but I hope you're all having a great start to 2022. I've been shopping yet again. What's new? I have been shopping on Amazon. I've picked up a few things recently and also some things that I've had for a while that I thought I would include within this video as a kind of best of Amazon buys, TikTok made me do it, things that you need in your life from Amazon. I just feel like Amazon is that one-stop shop that has anything and everything. So I hope you are all excited for today's video. Make sure you're set and ready with a nice a cozy drink. I've got myself a coffee. I'm going to remember to drink it today as well. And I've got the prices on my phone. I've got the boxes in front of me. Let's jump into it. Mmm. Let's start with coffee because I have a couple of things to share with you. One of which is something that I'm drinking right now. So I picked up some more coffee pods. These ones I've purchased previously and I love them because A, they're delicious. They're from Grind Coffee, which I think is a coffee house in London. I don't know if there's any others up and down the country. I don't know. Comes in a set of six. One of the boxes is already downstairs, but these are five I thought I'd bring up to show you. And then also inside the capsules themselves are white. So if you like to have your capsules on display, they make for a good looking capsule. If ever you could say a capsule is good looking. They're eco-friendly, compostable, organic, and you get 10 pods per box. I always want to tell you prices in these videos, but the thing is with Amazon, I could tell you price now and it'd be completely different when you um, go on and have a look yourself. I will leave all the links to everything in the description box below. I think this was about £27 for the set of six boxes, so 60 capsules. And whilst we're on the topic of coffee, I did pick up one of these from Nespresso. They are one of the descalers. I, I think they come in a kit of, I think it's a two pack, um, which basically I think you're meant to do every few months every couple of months and uh, let me check the price on this one 12 pounds this one was for the set of two this next purchase has been well loved since christmas it is a storage bag for all your wrapping paper christmas cards gift bags it's the most practical thing i've ever owned it's definitely not christmas related this is all of my wrapping paper and then I want to put in, I haven't yet, but I want to put in all of my gift cards as well. Go through those and um, sort them into piles and put them in here because honestly this, having this bag has just been a lifesaver. It's nice and neutral, can slide just under a bed or something and these are, I think they're $7.99 to $9.99. So um, for under a tenner, well worth the investment and it comes in sections, this is gonna be really hard to show you. <laughs> comes in sections whereby the top sections are sectioned off into three parts, I think. Labels and ribbons. And then the bottom part houses the actual wrapping paper as well. So I've got one left over from Christmas. The rest of them I actually finished. So I judged the amount of wrapping paper well this year. Uh, but places like HomeSense and TK Maxx, they do really nice wrapping paper that as and when I see them, I like to buy them even if I've not got an occasion. So by having this place to store them just makes for a much easier when it comes to actually needing to get wrapping paper out, gift bags and everything like that because it's all in one place. This too, however, has been well loved and used lots and lots and lots, mainly for Barney because it is, as you can tell, a cooler bag, really great size though. And inside it's just plain and simple lined with that stuff that keeps things cold. And it's just a good travel size. So all of his food is frozen food. So as and when we've been away, uh, like over Christmas or wherever, whenever we've got a little trip booked, this will help keep all of his food with ice packs in cool until we get to the destination to be able to pop them back in the freezer or fridge. So that has been well loved, but even just for non-dog owners, picnics, that kind of thing. And that was $19.99. They did have other colors as well. Whilst we're on the topic of Barney, I have also purchased this. So if you've got a dog that loves swimming, gets muddy, that you need to rinse down every single walk, hands up because that is me. Um, I got this fast drying microfiber towel which kind of wraps around the body. I went for the green color. 
for no reason other than I liked the green. And these are priced depending on the size, anywhere from about 15 pounds up to about 30. I got this size XXL for him. Moving on to these now, which I love the aesthetic of these. They are a double walled uh, mug, but these are handleless. So they're quite nice to be able to like hold your mug. It's double walled, which means they stay um, warmer for longer. This is the latte one, which is nice and like long in comparison to the shorter. Um, I want to say espresso, but it's a bit big for an espresso, like a, an Americano maybe. These are the ones that we tend to use more often because we are shorter coffee drinkers. Let's so all just have a little pit stop. I can see the reflection of the candle burning in the window. It's really pretty. It's one of my faves. Fireside from the White Company. I have noticed they've taken it off their website though, so fingers crossed it comes back next year. Anyway, moving on. Next up is something I've actually had for a while. Still yet to read this. This is the Richard Osman Thursday Murder Club. I um, have heard good things about this and he's brought out a second book as well. So I need to get on to reading this. Well, let me know if you've read it and what, what you thought. And that was about five pounds. I also picked up this game, which we played on Christmas day with our family friends, but not the uncensored version. We just played the regular five second rule game and had such a good time with it that I thought I would pick it up myself to have here except i thought i'm just gonna go push the boat out and get the uncensored version which can be fun to play with friends so you could kind of turn it into a bit of a drinking game or you could just keep it as like an entertainment type thing if you're hosting um it's basically a card that one person reads you take it in turns go around the circle one person reads the card to the next and they have to say in the timer the allotted time of five seconds, five second rule, um, name three, and then the title of what the card is. So for instance, name three reasons to have a drink. So you have to say it within the five seconds and then beep your buzzer. And it sounds a lot easier than it is. And because you are pressured under the time, it is quite funny because some of the answers that people come out with are just so funny of what people's minds are thinking. I mean, I completely made a blunder at Christmas. I think it was something like name three famous artists. And I came out with, I was meant to say Monet and I came out with Mozart. So that already scuppered me and I lost that point. But yeah, it's funny how under the pressure, your mouth <laughs> doesn't connect with your brain. And yeah, it, it's just, it's a good laugh and it's easy. There's no big setup or anything. It's literally just, a buzzer, timer, and a pack of cards. And that was $14.99, and then another card game that we like to play at Christmas, and that is a great Amazon purchases phase 10. I've also spotted these in Aldi recently. It's literally just a pack of cards, so really transportable, you can take it abroad with you. And it's a card game that lasts for 10 rounds. This weekend, myself and Tom and Barney, we're off to the Lake District for a couple of nights, and we are doing a nice spa hotel, nice break, but it's also, with it being in the Lake District, District, we're packing our hiking gear we're gonna get out and about and explore and do some nice long walks so for our backpacks I picked up some Kendall mint cake the Romney's one is my all-time favorite but it's basically a block of sugar I'm not gonna lie mint flavored sugar they do chocolate coated ones and different flavors but um, I just like the good old plain Kendall mint cake this was only a pound on Amazon or a pound something a pound 30 or something and um, yeah, this will be good for just giving us that kick of energy, that little boost that we might need. I say we, I definitely mean me. This is a really random and boring purchase, but teacup color fast in shades of black. I've just got a slight mark on my car, which I just wanted to buff out. So I got the black version of teacup. There we go. I think that was about seven pounds. We also bought a lamp for Tom's office kind of uh, walking wardrobe that he's got upstairs. He wanted something a bit more industrial. I loved the kind of wooden base, the brass, and then a simple exposed light bulb. So we picked this one up for, I think it was about 20 pounds, but they range anywhere from sort of 15 to 30 pounds. I also picked up this for my shoes. I've got a pair of Dewberry boots and a pair of Ugg boots of which neither of them are treated yet. So I wanted to pick myself up a kit to get them treated and looked after so that I don't ruin them. So from Ugg, they sell this sheepskin and suede care kit. So it'll be good for both of my 
boot, both my Elga and my Dewberries. And it comes with a protector spray. In fact, let me come in a bit closer so you can see. It comes with the protector spray and then you also get the number two, the cleaner and conditioner. And then number three, the shoe renew to actually clean and deodorize any marks or anything. Then it comes with a little brush, which will be really, really handy to especially brush off any kind of dirt or anything from my Dewberries in particular. And this little sponge as well. So quite a good little kit there and quite a affordable I thought for all of those products it was £25 for the set and maybe a good gift idea as well for someone I absolutely love this one so I get most of my table books my coffee table books from Amazon these two include I'll leave these linked they're both amazing books eat drink nap um I think that's about £20 this one is like a limited edition this Louis Vuitton it's quite hard to get hold of but um, it was probably about £100, that one. It was a bit more premium. This one retails for £30, but I paid, I think I paid £17 for it. And they have two. This is actually the volume two book. It's called Resident Dog. And it is just beautiful for one, but also it just makes me so happy. It's literally the most perfect book for me because I love my interiors. I'm obviously a dog mum. So this combines the two. It combines incredible dogs and the international homes they live in. So houses all around the world. I mean, look at this. They're amazing houses, amazing properties. Look, there's some in London, some townhouses in London. This one is the dog B. It tells you the breed, the architects, the location, and a little blurb on each um, property I love these crystal style doors definitely and so for downstairs this year at some point when we get around to doing the renovations I just honestly this book is made for me next up a practical but pretty boring purchase it's just a set of six Brita filters that we needed to stock up on you can get these on Amazon for about sort of 12 to 15 pounds depending on how many in a set that you are getting but also Obviously supermarkets and that do them, but I do find that sometimes Amazon, if you get a deal, you can get it slightly cheaper. And then last but not least, again, probably a pretty practical, so therefore boring for quite a few of you, but it's a boot cover for our car, for my car, because the one that I've currently got is the old one that I used to have on my old car, which was more of a back and front seat cover. So it kind of sat like that in between the headrests, whereas now I need a proper boot cover because Barney's trashing it basically. So it's just a plain black cover. These are about 15 pounds. I just go for the plain old black waterproof with a dog that likes to swim. So that's that. That is everything that I have been picking up recently. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Amazon haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I would love it if you'd stick around and subscribe if you like my videos. I'll also leave all my other socials a link to below should you wish to follow me over on them. I hope to see you all again in my next video, which will be Sunday. And I think I'm going to do a B&M haul. So stay tuned for that. Bye guys.